Hi, I'm Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Hey Dude Diapers One Size Hybrid Fitted Diaper. Now, this is a one size fitted diaper fit in babies from about 12 to 35 pounds via a fold down rise that I'll show you in just a bit. The outside construction of the diaper is turned and top stitched all the way around, so you have a nice, soft, smooth edge touching your baby all around the diaper. The outside fabric on this particular diaper is a cotton knit fabric, so it's one of my preferred choices for a fitted diaper because you get a lot of good stretch and a really good fit when you use a cotton knit fabric. The um, closure system on this diaper is a snap closure. It has three snaps on each wing. So pretty typical for a fitted diaper and it has crossover wings so you can get a nice good um, tight fit for your smaller waisted babies as well. Let's open this diaper up and I'll show you what the inside looks like. The inside of the diaper is lined with cotton velour usually in a nice colorful um, fabric that coordinates with the outside of your diaper. And um, I do want to mention I just love the outside print of this fabric and she has tons of cute prints to choose from on um, her custom uh, fitted diapers. We just happen to be uh, Disney freaks in our household and so I was really excited that she was able to make a Disney diaper for us. So back to the inside of this diaper. So you have cotton velour as far as the interior lining and then you have a hidden layer of fleece on the inside. So in between your cotton knit that's on the outside, your cotton velour that's on the inside, there is a poly fleece layer that's in between. This is what makes this diaper a hybrid fitted. It's somewhat of a barrier from um, the pee from escaping from the inside of this diaper to the outside. So it really holds it off from hitting the outside for quite a long time. Um, it's not waterproof, but it is uh, very water resistant, so you can go quite a few hours without having a cover. Now, if you do want this diaper to be completely waterproof, then you will have to put a cover over your fitted diaper. The soaker, or more absorbent layers of this diaper, is seen right here. They have a snap-in soaker, which is one snap for their um, soaker. Uh, I generally I prefer two snaps just because it usually keeps it in place, stops it from twisting, especially when it's in the in the wash, but um, but it's not a really big deal for me. Uh, just a general preference to have usually two snaps, but um, but they do snap that in. I really like the surging detail on the edges of her soakers. She has two different styles of soakers. Let me bring over the first one because this is what would typically come with your fitted diaper. This is her petal style soaker and it has two layers and um, each layer is comprised of four layers of organic hemp on the bottom here and that's topped with either a bamboo velour or matching cotton velour and that just depends on whatever you have on the inside of your diaper. This one um, um, happens to have a contrasting one, but sometimes they'll match the inside of the diaper. Um, your uh, diapers will also come with a doubler in addition to your soaker. So if your baby um, is wearing this during nap time or overnight, you'll probably want to pair it with the doubler in order to oomph up your absorbency. Although um, I typically do fine even with just the the inserts themselves because they, these are super thirsty inserts and they work really well. Now the petal soaker is a little bit um, shorter. I do find it's still a little bit long so I usually have to fold it a little bit. I think I would prefer this soaker to be just a little bit shorter, maybe just um, two inches or so cut off of it. 
so I didn't have to fold it all the time, but um, but out of the two options, I did prefer the petal soaker. Uh, I like that it's in two different layers, so it washes up really well and dries fairly fast. And they're sewn together at the top, kind of with a little half moon at the top here. Now the other soaker option is her snake style soaker. Now this will give you a little bit more options as far as how you like your absorbency. Say you have a girl who's a heavy wetter, you might want to double it up a little bit more in the middle where she's going to be wetting the most. Or say you have a boy that's a heavy wetter, you might want to double it up in the front where he's going to be wetting the most. Now this is still somewhat of a petal soaker because there are two layers to it. So it's kind of what I would call a petal snake style soaker. So it's very long but still two different layers. So um, I found that this one seemed to get kind of bulky in the front because I had to fold it up front. You could if you wanted to kind of back it down this way also, but it still just seemed a little bit um, bulkier to me, so I did prefer using the petal soaker. That being said, if you do have an extremely heavy boy wetter, I think that the snake style would be a little bit better because you could get so many thirsty layers right up front because, um, because of the um, options that you have with the snake style soaker. And then add on your doubler and you have a super absorbent system. Now as far as the ease of use of this diaper, I found it to be super easy to use. I love the stretch of the wings. This diaper has a great stretch to it. So it made it really easy wrapping it around your baby and securing the wings onto the, um, onto the diaper. I also um, want to show you their one size system. So if you are using this for a larger baby. Let's just snap in your soaker. Then you'll just snap your diaper on and leave it at the full rise setting. I'll show you just how large this diaper can get. Now if you had snap covers you could make this even bigger but we'll just show you how this works without snap covers. So here's the waist of your diaper. And here's the legs of your diaper. And then the rise of your diaper. Now if you're putting this on a smaller size baby, you could undo your soaker, put in just your doubler because you figure if it's just a newborn or smaller baby they probably don't wet as much. And then add in your general soaker once your baby starts wetting more. Fit this over them, pull up the front of the diaper, fold it back to expose your fold down rise snaps. Yes, that's what these snaps are that are located on the inside of your diaper. Wrap the diaper around your baby and then snap it on. Just as you would with the rise fully extended. Only now, since you have a smaller baby, you'll probably want to use the crossover snaps in order to fit your baby. So here's just how small the waist can get, and then just how small your leg openings can get on the fold down rise setting of this diaper. Now as far as leak protection, this diaper is awesome. Um, I have no fears going without a cover at home and I could even leave the house with this diaper without a cover without worrying about any leaks on the outside. I can usually go three to four hours before the outside of this diaper will even start to feel wet. Now you'll generally start feeling it around the edges of the diaper and then you'll start feeling a very slight dampness on the outside of the diaper. At night I will put on a cover but um, I've never had any leaks with this during the nighttime. It's really 
an awesome diaper as far as absorption. Washing, I'll generally just throw this diaper in the wash with my inserts snapped in, just like this, so I don't have to locate it after it's done and the dryer is still attached and so I just fold it up and put it away. If I do have the doubler in there I will have to search for that in the wash and pair that up and then fold it up and put it away. Um, generally this diaper will dry in about 75 minutes which is pretty awesome because it is a hemp diaper so I was really surprised that this diaper would um, dry so fast, but um, but it does dry exceptionally fast, so I was really surprised about that. Um, so let's bring Lincoln over here, and I'll show you just how this diaper fits on a baby, and then we'll bring over our newborn bo model as well, and I'll show you how this diaper fits on a newborn. Okay, so here's Link in his Hey Dude diaper, and I've just pulled up the pedal soaker, and I'll just fold it down a little bit in the front. Then pull up the front panel, and then snap the sides. He's about the second snap in on this diaper. So you can kind of see how the legs fit. Really great fit on the legs. And then a really good fit on the waist. I could actually, some days I'll go in three snaps on this one and sometimes only two. Um, just depending on how much this little guy's ate. So um, definitely a lot of room to grow on the waist of this diaper. Now let me show you it with the um, snake saddle soaker. Okay, so here is the snake style soaker and you can see just how much longer it is. So what you're going to want to do is fold that down to cover the front section of your baby if you have a boy or if you have a girl, you can fold it down in the center. But I have a boy so I'm going to fold this in the front. Oh, did you lose it? <laughs> and then we'll just fold up the diaper just like we did before and snap on these sides. Mm -hmm. huh. So, same great fit with this one, just probably just a teensy bit bulkier in the front because it's a little bit longer. Um, so, let me bring over the newborn model and I will show you just how this diaper would fit on a newborn. Okay, so here is my newborn model and we're just going to take that exact same diaper, unsnap the soaker, I'm going to put my doubler in. Now this is going to keep the diaper a little bit tremor for a newborn, but I still cover up that little exposed snap with our doubler and I get a pretty good amount of absorbency with just the doubler. I'll put this underneath our newborn, flip up the doubler, then flip up our diaper and fold it back down to expose those fold down rise snaps. And we'll just wrap the front of the diaper around their baby and then snap the diaper on. Now right now I'm snapping it at its smallest size setting. So you can see just how the legs look. A little bit of gapping, but if you did have a cover over this, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about any leaking, and um, and it is going to fit a little bit differently on a real newborn than it will on a doll. But the waist fits really good, so you're a really good fit around the waist. 
So there you have it. This is the Hey Dude hy Hybrid Fitted. And I hope you'll keep on joining me for the rest of the month of September for the rest of our September Fitted Diaper event.